Hey everybody, it's Ed Connerkey. Welcome back to Connerkey's Corner. Happy 2015. I hope you had a great holidays. Gang, I read an article this past Wednesday in Money Magazine that I needed to do a video on and share this with you. It's entitled, The Financial Resolution That 62% of Americans Really Ought to Be Making This New Year. It talks about a study that was just done by Bankrate.com and what they found is some sobering statistics that only 38% of Americans have enough money in their savings accounts today to pay for an unexpected expense such as a thousand dollar emergency room visit or a five hundred dollar car repair. And I look at that and say that's affecting 62% of you. We need to get the message out. We need to let you know that we need you to have a much bigger emergency savings account. And I'm here to help you. What I am finding today are a lot of people that are asking me about lowering their interest rate but increasing their monthly mortgage payment by going to a 15 year fix or a 20 year fixed and that's wrong because all the people that are asking me that typically aren't having enough put aside into that emergency rainy day fund so what we need to teach everybody that the most important thing you need to be doing is lowering your monthly mortgage payment and I'm here to help I want to see if I can lower your monthly mortgage payment because if I can, then I know I can free up more money to go to your emergency savings. Another statistic that's even more sobering is that 94% of you aren't putting the maximum away into your 401k at work that the IRS allows you to do. And that number is even larger this year. Yes, in 2015, you can now put $18,000 away in your 401k. And if you're 50 or older, that number jumps to 24,000 that you can put away tax-free into your 401k. So we find two huge statistics here. 94% of you aren't putting the maximum away into your 401k that the IRS allows, and 62% of you don't have more than $1,000 in your emergency rainy day fund. And how can I help? By reviewing your mortgage, seeing if you've got the lowest mortgage payment possible, and if you don't, help you refinance to lower your mortgage payment to free up that money to go into your 401k and your emergency savings. Now it's important for us to take advantage of this because rates are low again. They've crept up there at the end of last year and have come back down. So now's the time to jump on this. So if I can lower your rate, if I could pull money out since home values have increased to help get money into your 401k and emergency fund right away, but mostly we're seeing us being able to lower payments for clients so they can free up that cash to put into these two areas. So it's really easy. Go to my website, request me to review your mortgage, and I'll take care of you. So simply go to reviewmymtg.com. That's reviewmymtg.com. Go there, fill out the form. I'll take care of the rest. I'll reach out to you. We'll review your mortgage, make sure you're doing the right thing, but most importantly that you're not giving your extra money to the bank. Stop giving your extra money to the bank and give it to yourself. Pay yourself first. We need to free up as much money as you can so you can pay yourself in two important areas that you need to be doing to get to be financially secure. That is, pay yourself as much as you can putting it into your 401k, pay yourself as much as you can and put it into your emergency savings at home. Hope you enjoyed this Counter Keys Corner. Remember, reach out to me. Let's review your mortgage, see if you have the lowest mortgage payment possible so we can get you out of these statistics and get to the point where you have as much money going into your accounts, not into the mortgage. Again, that's reviewmymtg.com. Have a great 2015. I look forward to helping you.